Hey, fellow motion artists! Welcome back to our After Effects journey. In today's tutorial, we're diving into a super useful technique that will save you tons of time and effort. We'll be exploring how to copy and paste masks from Illustrator and Photoshop directly into After Effects. If you have ever struggled with recreating complex masks or wanted to seamlessly integrate your vector or raster graphics into your motion projects, then this tutorial is for you. Get ready to unlock a whole new level of efficiency and creativity in your workflow. In Illustrator, open vines.ai, which is a file that comes with your exercise files. If you have not downloaded them, here is the link. The link is also in the description of this video. Now, let's go ahead and select this one vine here and let's copy it, as in copy the mask. Now, in After Effects, Let's go ahead and open vines.ai and you can merge the layers. And now let's create a composition with this clip and there you have it. Now let's go ahead and grab the rectangle tool and let's create a rectangle that will be white and about yay big. Now let's rotate it to about yay or so. And let's change the scale, the height. Uh, we don't need to change the width, the width to about yay, the height to about yay. And now let's keyframe the position so that it starts outside of the composition here and it ends here. All right, we're also going to add a Gaussian blur to this effect. Blur and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur. And let me put it here so I can see it. And about yay is good. What we're creating is a sheen here just for this vine. So if I play this, I'm happy with the speed. Well, maybe a little bit faster. And let's easy ease it. So animation, keyframe assistant. So interpolation, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And this is good. And I'm digging that. And let's go ahead and pre-compose this layer. So select the layer and now go layer, pre-compose. Make sure to move all of the attributes into the new composition and click OK. And now you can paste the mask onto this layer. And there it is. Notice that it pastes in the middle, but that's okay. We can simply click and drag it and cover the vine like yay. And that's it. What we have now is a sheen that will affect only this vine. Let's go ahead and play it. And there you go. Just one of the many uses that you have from copying and pasting masks from other apps. Now let's go into Photoshop. In Photoshop, let's create a new file from film and video. HDTV is fine, so 1920 by 1080. Click on Create, and I don't like seeing the guides, so View, Show, and Deselect Guides. Now, in Photoshop, let's go ahead and choose the Custom Shape tool and from this list, let's select one of these leaf trees. It doesn't really matter which one. I'll select this one here and I'm going to create a shape and the fill will be green. Let's make it a little bit darker green, about yay. And now we can simply click and drag. And there you go, we have our tree. Let's save this file without the background layer. So select the background layer here and delete it. And there you have it. Now we can go File, Save, and we'll save it as tree.psd and let's save it. Before we go, however, 
Let's go ahead to this Paths panel here. Let's select the path with the Path Selection tool and copy, Control or Command C. In After Effects, let's go ahead and import this tree. And Merge Layers is fine, and we can create a new composition from it. Tree. And we can just drag the tree. And there you have it. Now, let's go ahead and create the sheen. So there you go. I'm going to zoom out because I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And I think that's good. And now let's rotate it. And keyframe position so that it starts here and it ends here. And I think I'm going to adjust the scale a little bit so that it's a little bit thinner. And now let's go ahead and give it a Gaussian blur. There it is. And let's blur it quite a bit. And there you have it. We can now again pre-compose it. And we can paste that mask that we copied from Photoshop. Notice that the mask is not quite in place. So M for mask. We pasted a gazillion masks. Uh, we have 48 masks here, but that's okay. They're all selected. So Control or Command T, and we can now move all those masks so they are really on top of the tree. And there you have it. Now we have a sheen that is going on the tree. And you don't have to do it with a sheen. We could simply go and create a new solid, make it black. Now go to Effect, Generate, and we're going to do a Lens Flare. And let's go ahead and animate this Lens Flare Center. So here at the beginning is here, and then at around two, three seconds is on the other side here. And now all we have to do is paste the mask Obviously, adjust the mask where you need it to be. Let's even change the blending mode of this black solid to be screen and simply play your animation. So it's almost unlimited the opportunities that you have to copy and paste masks from other apps. And there you have it, folks. We have explored the incredible power of copying and pasting masks from Illustrator and Photoshop into After Effects. This technique will no doubt become a game changer in your motion design world. Now, go ahead and experiment with this and unleash your creativity to bring your designs to life. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like it and subscribe. Also, I would like to ask you to share your amazing creations with me. Thanks for joining me today. And until next time, keep on pushing the boundaries of your motion graphics journey.